All right, so in this video, we're going to be trying out Moto Chopper and seeing if it will root the NVIDIA Shield. We have installed the ADB fast boot drivers thanks to One Way Johnny. I will link to my video in the description below. You will want to make sure you check that out. Uh, we're going to go to my computer and then we're going to click on manage. And then we should see uh, under device manager, Android device, NVIDIA Shield ADB. If you do not see that, then please stop watching this video. Click show more in the description below this video and watch that video and then come back to this one. You will need that NVIDIA Shield ADB to follow on. And please keep in mind, I do not even know if this is going to root my NVIDIA Shield. Uh, I under here I do not have super SU I do not have super user I do not have root access at all so we're gonna open up Moto Chopper here on the desktop this is all thanks to uh, Dan I, I will have a link to his thread in the description uh, <laughs> you know it's for the Galaxy S4 but it, it's worked on many other devices that I've tried it on so we're gonna open it up and we're gonna, just gonna double click on run if you have UAC enabled then you will need to run as administrator uh, and then it'll pop up a little box saying do you allow this process. I have UAC disabled so I'm just going to go ahead and press a button here. On our Android device one last thing is you need to go to menu settings about device or at first you will not see developer options so you'll need to go to about shield and on build number you'll just keep tapping on that and then it'll say you are now a developer and then press the back button and under developer options you will need to go to USB debugging and you'll need to see this little Android guy uh, at the top there. And we're going to go ahead and press any button on the keyboard and see if this thing roots our device. Since we now have fast boot. I don't know. Pushing exploit. Rooting. Package super user. Success. Uh, failure. Cleaning up. Uh oh. Uh oh. We do not have root access. So let's see what happened here. All right, we'll try that process one more time. USB debugging is enabled. We do or do... We do have super user, but it says it wasn't successful. So we'll go to the Play Store here and we'll search for... Root Checker. Uh, you can do the free version, but I have the pro version because Joey Crim's an awesome developer, and I fully support him. So, open that up. Agree. Okay. Verify root. Root access is not properly configured or was not granted. Okay. So, we're going to try Motor Chopper one more time. And then we're just going to press any button to continue. Okay, so th this was not a success. This does not work. That sucks. Oh well. Now we have freaking super user and we can't use it. <laughs> That's just great. Alright, so I will... Uh, I don't know if I'll post this video. I don't know. And end. When there is a working method on how to root the NVIDIA Shield, I will have a full tutorial just like this on the updated version, and you can find that on my main channel, www.joshdew. Links to it will be in the description below.